I get the sense of what it's about, but I'm going to have you explain it in a moment. But before you do, I, I do have a question because your background, based on what I've read, it was in the emergency room, which yeah. is as far from routine as my mind. Like when I think of the ER, I don't think of routine. <laughs> I think of absolute chaos. So how do you go from the ER to specializing in routineology? Yeah. Well, it, it, you know, it, you know, first of all, um, from in the emergency departments are kind of gold, goldfish bowls, right? You could see a lot that's happening when you come as, so you come as a patient, it's a little bit different than if you're a emergency, a team of emergency, uh, docs and nurses and, uh, therapists trying to care for patients. And, um, it's not as, uh, it's actually much more organized on how to deal with the uncertainty of what might be coming coming on, the uncertainty of the type of uh, um, things that happen in emergency departments come in categories. For example, the big ones that ER doctors are trained in what we do is you know cardiac care or trauma care as two big specialists that we do. And then there are these obst- obstetrical care, care for children. and. So we have a lot of standardized operating protocols and operating procedures on how to manage this. And although it looks chaotic, it's not nearly as chaotic as it's as nearly as chaotic as it seems. And uh, it, in fact, I wrote a, a, I was interviewed for a little piece uh, on, um, I believe it's entrepreneur about, you know, with today's crisis, how do you, how, what are the lessons in the emergency department that allow us to deal with crisis today? You know, and in fact, those lessons are how to, in working as teams, how to be, um, for example, uh, one of them is to have, uh, you know, mutual respect for each other, knowing how to manage a team. So if you're going to lead a team, understanding um, that you have proper decorum and then having one voice that leads the team in these emergencies so that there's a direct piece and then having, for example, standard operating procedures for all these different pieces. So it's much more put together. And I think, you know, back to your, uh, to your question, um, for me, the art of routine was, has been kind of a, for me, a transition from the corporate world into uh, uh, the the current world and that I'm, that I'm in and trying to kind of find my way here. And uh, it, uh, it, it's really just an insight into nature. uh, that I that I learned really in the emergency department about how people survived, how do people survive? How do people deal with stress? How do they deal with distress? And then, as a physician, learning kind of the the real breadth of really our experience and seeing just about everything you could ever see in an emergency department. But um, but um, in fact, understanding that uh, the way we gain stability of patients whether it was in psychiatry or in emergency medicine is by stabilizing their environment and making things much have greater regularity and time and routine. So it's really, uh, it's, uh, it's fairly that experience that I've had is, is very connected to the, 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 both the concept and the insight into our, our very nature of why we, uh, why, how we seek stability, how routine helps us find, um, stability and uh how we as humans thrive in that in that environment 